Hello, it's Brick Bros UK and with the LEGO Star Wars Rebels Kanan Speederbike 75141. And we like the look of this set and have been looking forward to reviewing it with its action box set graphic with Kanan attacking an Imperial Supply Depot. And it's a good price, costing £19.99p, $24.99 and €29.99. And if we turn over, you can see images of the set's play features and accessories. Ok, let's go ahead and build Kanan's speeder bike. And here it is, it took us 22 minutes to build and it consists of 234 pieces. You get Kanan Jarrus and his speeder bike which does seem a bit oversized, but you also get two cool Imperial containers with weapons inside and a Rebel Stormtrooper and Imperial Combat Driver. Now let's get a closer look at these minifigures. The Imperial Combat Driver has a dark grey and grey printed armour on the torso and legs and it looks good. And he has this light grey single faced head which marries up to the Imperial Helmet with a helmet strap. And the helmet has some Imperial insignias printed on. And at the back is more detail printing on the torso which is good. But best of all he's armed with a small blaster and not a stud shooter which should please fans and mock creators alike. The Stormtrooper is the usual Rebels one with printed armour on the legs and torso and it has the nicely printed Stormtrooper helmet. The Trooper has a medium blaster and if we look at the back you can see more armour printing and of course if we remove the helmet the Trooper has the angry clone head but we don't mind because he has a medium blaster after all. Now moving on Kanan Jarrus is the set's key minifigure and he has dark grey legs and olive green armoured torso with belt printing all over and the dark green arm that looks good. He's armed with his blue lightsaber and has his dark brown ponytail hair piece. And Kanan has the dual head with goatee normal face and a more happy one. The builds consist of Kanan's speeder bike which looks pretty cool with the dark green and grey mixed in. It is oversized as we said earlier. But LEGO probably wanted it to look similar to the TV series version and not just a dark green average speeder, which we can understand. The front section is movable with triangular dark green dishes adding to the detail and further up the speeder's controls have a sticker on a dark green slope piece and two ice axes as hand controls, which is clever. The sides have grill pieces and extra clips adding to the detail and another sticker and it's all structurally stable which will be great for play. And there's a ball joint at the back which can hook up the containers but we will show this off later. Kanan simply clips onto the middle seat but sadly can't reach the controls. And one thing that we love about the speeder is the three trans clear slider plates underneath that help it slide more easily again adding to its play. Now the two dark grey containers are big which is great and they have imperial logo stickers on the front and back and look great all around. On top are orange and dark red tiles and an orange sticker and the lids open up and each one has different imperial supplies inside. There's blasters in one and thermal detonators in the other. You get four black medium blasters which is great for army builders and mock creators and handy to have spares and the other one has four thermal detonators which are printed on the one by one round plates which looks awesome and there's an extra sticker on the stud piece here. Another function on the containers is they have slider plates underneath and they both have ball joint connections so when you connect them up they slide around and as a play feature you can hook up the containers and steal the imperial weapon supplies. The weapons really make the containers because they are genuinely full of imperial supplies and not empty crates which some sets supply and we think this is a great added extra. And this is a fun mission because Kanan can quietly sneak up on the imperial troops and steal the weapon containers for the rebel cause and speed away and we like how this set has a purpose or mission in mind. It's not just a display piece and you could use other characters to distract the troopers but it's up to you really, it's just so much fun. On a final note, the LEGO Star Wars Kanan speeder bike is a reasonable price. Kanan is a solid minifigure and the Stormtrooper and Imperial Combat Driver are okay. 
but it's great they get blasters instead of stud shooters and we give that a big thumbs up. Also, the Imperial containers look excellent with the sticker logos and would be cool for mocks, but best of all, LEGO actually put in 4 medium blasters and 4 thermal detonators as extras. The speeder is oversized but it looks good and it's great how it can hook up the containers. So Brick Bros UK is giving the set a brick rating of 5 out of 5 bricks. Hope you enjoyed a Brick Bros UK review, remember to check out the Brick Bros UK channel for all things LEGO and like, comment and subscribe to Brick Bros UK.